In the previous part of this lecture, we introduced a number of business process performance metrics. Now usually what is done with those metrics, you have a multitude of them, and those are combined into what is called a business process performance dashboard. To get an understanding of what it actually is, let's first look at business process monitoring. So monitoring in monitoring, we have an enterprise system that is going to produce an event stream and an event log based on the process that it is supporting. What we can do with it, this data, we can utilize, of course, process mining. However, it can be also compiled into what is known as a performance dashboard. The performance dashboard is meant to give an understanding of or monitoring how the process performance is currently ongoing. So a process performance dashboard itself, it is actually a visualization of the relevant process performance measures. And there are three types of them. First, operational dashboards. Second, tactical dashboards. And third, strategic dashboards. I will be going over each of them. However, during the rest of this course, we will be mainly focusing on the tactical level. But it is important to understand the other level ex levels exist as well, as it gives you a broader understanding of the entire field. So let's begin with operational process dashboards. Those dashboards are aimed at process workers and operational managers. Emphasis on those dashboards is on monitoring, so detect and respond. For example, they could show information such as work in progress, problematic cases, overdue, at-risk cases, or resource load. And as you saw on the previous slide, those dashboards, the operational dashboards, are usually based on live data or near live data. An example of an operational dashboard is on your screen now. On the left, you can see a distribution of cases, some of which are predicted to be on time, some of which are known to be overdue, and some of them are predicted to be at risk of being overdue in the future. And then on the right side, you can also see those cases that are going overdue when they are predicted to be overdue, actually. And this information gives, this gives an overview to the process workers in order how to manage their process and which process instances they should pay specific attention to. The second category and the most interesting category or the most important category for this lecture series is tactical dashboards. These tactical dashboards are aimed at process owners and managers. Emphasis is on analysis and management. For example, detecting bottlenecks. Typical process performance indicators on those dashboards include cycle times, error rates, resource utilization. An example of one of those uh, visualizations that you could see on those dashboards is here, which shows you the case duration and the distribution of those case durations in the current data set. There is a wide variety of those different visualizations that can be used in order to create a tactical dashboard, and those will be covered in the next part of this lecture. Another example of a tactical performance dashboard would be, or a concrete example from an Australian in insurer. This kind of a dashboard on the left, it shows you the visualization based on Australian regions of different distributions of different insurance claim types. Meanwhile, on the right, you can get an understanding of how much time has been elapsed or elapsed on processing those claims and what is the incurred amount of those claims. Then the third type is strategic dashboards. Those are aimed at executives and managers, so the upper management of an organization. Emphasis on those strategic dashboards is on linking process performance to strategic objectives. An example would be here, where you have customer satisfaction, customer complaint, customer feedback, and so forth, and processes managed at out plan unplanned outages, managed emergencies and disasters, and so forth. You can see that the processes here, they are very generic, and they are almost kind of like 
areas of focus for this specific organization. And in fact, those tables are usually based on a larger set or a wider view where you have, let's say, a process of managed unplanned outages. Overall process in performance in that case will be defined by financial people, customer excellence and so forth, performance measures. In cost under customer excellence, we would have customer complaint, customer satisfaction. Under customer satisfaction, we have customer ratings, customer loyalty indexes, and so forth. So this is quite like a wide field or a wide picture. It is not something that we are going to be focusing on in this course. However, it is very relevant that you are aware that it, this level of performance dashboards exists. In general, I would summarize the strategic level as kind of like an aggregation of the individual business process performance indicators. Now, once we, when we come to the point that we have some understanding of what information we want to measure about the process, then we have to think about how are we going to design the pr process performance dashboard. And there are some steps to follow. First of all, we need to identify a user or users and define a clear question or set of questions that the users will answer with this dashboard. Once we have this in place, we can identify the type of dashboard elements based on the insights required to answer the question. The elements here will be discussed more in depth in the next part of this lecture. Once we have identified the type of dashboard elements, we will identify a type of visualization, meaning the type of chart for the element that we want to represent or the performance measure that we want to represent on the dashboard. For this element, we have to determine the x-axis, which is the independent variable, for example, longitudinal time or something cross-sectional, like, a, let's say, a different resources. And then we want to determine the y-axis, which is usually the dependent variable, refers to performance measure or attribute and the aggregation function. For example, number of cases processed per resource in the business process itself. So this is like the high level steps. 